So today I am meeting up with my friend Amanda and we're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna check out the bin prime that I always go to at Solong Station. And I know there's one that just opened up at Jamshia Station. So we're gonna check that one out as well. My whole idea for this thrifting expedition is to try to find some of those summer 2022 trends that I talked about. I really, really hope I could find like something that I can make into a matching set. But I don't know, man. Here is my friend Amanda. Yay, Starlight! <laughs> yes, Starlight friend. We've only been in here for like maybe five minutes and I already found two things. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I don't, mm, okay. Trying to look for like button ups, colorful button ups. Oh look, here's a white shirt. I don't think I'm actually gonna wear this, but I just really wanted to try it on. <laughs> The skirt, if I could fit into her. Girl, the skirt. The skirt is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, it's remind me of my bright neon. I really like it. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, please don't cut it. it. Looks amazing. Look at the with the boots in this length. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't cut you off. I don't think. Yeah, think. I, I think. So I haven't been back to this in Prime quite some time and they changed the whole new thing. Now upstairs is only like luxury clothing, which beforehand they had like additional women's clothing. But yeah, now everything is luxury stuff, but the prices, I mean, it says that it, there's like a Korean association or whatever that it puts their stamp of approval that yes, this is genuine like luxury whatever item. So right now we were seeing like a dress that was like from Kenzo for 50 bucks. Now I don't know how much that normally is, but I guess if you're someone that likes brands, that's something you guys can check out. Oh, ignore the jeans, but it's, it's just not. It's not giving. So what did you end up? Honestly, my favorite thing is this shirt that I at first didn't want to take, but okay. then you picked it back out for yeah. me. And I'm like, you know what? And that's exactly what I wanted coming in. Like I wanted like, a solid, bright colored shirt. Probably this, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm having a puff sleeve moment. Yes. And I like the texture, breezy, because that's what I need. I sweat a lot. She wanted color stuff and I was like, oh, why don't you just dye, just dye it? it. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna, this is gonna also be this color. And I loved a lot of yours on yours, <laughs> on you. <laughs> this is 20 bucks and I'm gonna have let it go. I no. mean, I just, oh. she's pretty, but I'm not gonna wear her anytime soon. Deuces. It's from Japan, so you know I like that. And it kind of reminds me of my Sailor Moon dress that I have. Yeah, I can't justify buying it. It's 20 bucks just for a see-through thing, but it's really cute. Hopefully, maybe someone else can get it. Other dress that we found, also from Japan, really cute. But the only thing is that these uh, armholes, obviously made for Japanese women that got really thin arms, homegirl like me, don't really fit, so we got that as Amanda calls armpit wedgies and also as women who sweat, that ain't the thing. But she's really cute. I would think like this is like a dress to like run errands in or something. Hello. 
Our first item is this black skirt. My initial thing when I was looking through the skirts was like, okay, Natalie, you're gonna look for something that you can make into a mini skirt. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is really cool. And I really liked how there's two different types of blacks to it. One is more silky and shiny while the other one is more textured. But then when I tried it on and Amanda was like, oh my God, like, I love this. Like, don't even cut it. Yo, it does look really pretty, but I'm like, you know what I wanted? I wanted this to make a mini skirt. And I think I could definitely make a top for this with additional fabric. So I'm really torn because it does look really nice. I think what I am gonna do is see if I gravitate towards it just as is. And if I'm wearing it enough, then maybe it's like worth just to keep it that way. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Should I make this into a two piece set mini skirt and a cute little top or just leave it as is? You know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Next up is this button up that when Amanda saw it, she was like, okay, it kind of has that like shower curtain print. And I'm like, yeah, it does. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I hope this is going to be long enough for me to wear as a dress. And it is the only little thing that. <laughs> I don't know if I should add in like any little dart suits. Two pleats are right here, which at first I was like, oh, I guess it is supposed to be a dress, but obviously not. There's kind of like this area that's a little bit weird. And I don't know, do I like cinch that? If I can make it flare out more, or maybe I could just wear it with a belt. But overall, really, really love it. It's really vibrant. It's not like as see-through as I thought it was going to be, especially because I'm wearing like this bright purple bra. <laughs> All right, so now we get to this really awesome blazer. I guess it's like a blazer. It has some structure to it. What I really like is that that the material is quite breathable even over here like little slits and stuff so i'm thinking like maybe for summertime this is going to be a nice little thing to just put on top of you know whatever outfits you always stretch on me why are you always flexing that you got this long body it's a nice pale like mustard color and this even has pockets that's definitely an added bonus to it even like right now for springtime it gets really cold at night so you always have to make sure to bring like a jacket or something so i think this would be like a good little piece for that how i was envisioning it in my brain is probably wearing like yeah a little crop top and some jeans you know i'll be a little crop top and some jeans a little crop top and some jeans a little crop top now, on to the next one, yeah. Next up is this beautiful watercolor print button up. I told myself, I was like, Nelly, you don't need any more button ups. Like you truly don't, you have so many different styles. When I saw this, I was like, yo, I love the print. It's beautiful as a little functioning pocket. <laughs> I'll be. Don't be doing that on camera. What I also really love is that there's a bunch of other colors in there. I think if I look at my closet and I take out like the solid color pieces that I have, I might be able to really mix and match this with a whole bunch of things. Albie, please don't be doing that on camera. Are you not embarrassed? Is not. I really wanted this to be long enough so I could wear it as a dress, but unfortunately it is not. Instead, I think I'm gonna do like my, Albie. Uh... That's embarrassing. Instead, I think I'm gonna be doing just my regular old tuck it in to my jeans kind of situation, or I could also wear it as a little overthrow to like a dress. Okay, so we get to this last dress, and this was a dress that I chose instead of the like green satin one that you guys saw. It has like these um drawstring like features here. This one goes like by your boobs, and I think that would be really nice if my boobs could actually fit. They also have the same drawstring things on their shoulders. How However, I will say the more that I tighten it, it's giving me more of an armpit wedgie. But it's cool that you could have it tapered in or just have it just wider. The biggest thing that drew me into it, the actual panels go like down and they curve. When I saw this dress, I was like, oh, I think this is something I could potentially make into a matching set. Only thing though, I'm not sure whether I should make this into a mini skirt or just leave it as a midi skirt. Really on the fence of like what I should do with this dress. I definitely wouldn't keep it as is because I know this is something I would not wear just as a dress. There are some parts that are, you know, a little bit tight on me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I guess that is it for this video. So let me know which piece was your favorite piece. You know, I really tried to look for those summer 2022 trends, but in Korea I couldn't find anything. Granted, we only saw two stores, so maybe had we gone to a couple more, maybe we would have had a little bit of better luck. Let me know if you guys have found any cool pieces while you've been thrifting lately. I'd love to hear about it. I will catch you guys in the next one please be safe and i hope this video finds you well bye oh wait i'll be come break jump good boy bye, -bye.
Bye.